and welcome to Soccer CFR News, your top freight news articles for this week. Carriers raking $41.6 billion in Q2. African air freight, the market to be in for the next 20 years. And Road Freight Association calls on government to address tax on the logistics, logistics sector. Links to these articles can be found below. In your air freight trade brief for this week, on the export side, Cargo Lux's fuel surcharge will decrease to $1.45 from 19 September. Air Belgium has started their services, ex Joburg and Cape Town. Air France will resume flights ex Cape Town on 1 November and these will run till 26 March. Flights will be on a day 1, 3 and 6. Tog flights for this week are on a day 2, 3, 4 and 6 ex Joburg. On the import side, a correction on our PVG console, the departure day is on a day 1. Select global national holidays for the upcoming week can be found using the link down below. In your ocean trade brief for this week in South Africa, Durban container terminal delays implementation of new storage rules. In the USA, railroad service strike action was called off on the 16th of September, but services did experience disruptions between the 12th and 16th of September. In the European region, both Barcelona and Valencia experienced shortages in Steve Dork manpower. In the UK, rail strike action has been confirmed for the 15th, 17th and 26th of September and all ports will be closed on Monday the 19th of September between 10am and 1pm for the Queen's funeral. In the Asia Pacific region, Typhoon Mwifa shuts down ports in China for a second time in 10 days, adding further disruptions to shipping schedules from Asia. For the full ocean trade brief, please see the links down below. Thank you for watching Sarko CFR News, we'll see you again next week.